Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Tesh. Here, I teach you how to connect with your higher self, God, and nature by clearing blocks, negative energy, and doing magic to manifest the life that you want. So let's get it. Hey, baby loves, it's Tesh here. And today, I wanted to talk to you guys about the proper way to burn sage. Now, sage is an herb that is great for cleansing negative energy from the environment. So when you get your sage, normally when you're buying it these days, you'll buy it in a sage bundle like this. And what some people do is they will cut the string and break the sage down into smaller pieces and burn it like so whenever their home needs a cleanse of negative energy. And I literally walk around like this and I will just have the, surge, the sage burning and I will take my feather and blow the smoke from the sage all around my home. Some people have a seashell that they will put their sage into and then they can burn that around the house. Some people will just use the whole stick like this, burn one end and go around the house with your feather, burning your sage this way. The problem is that people is using sage too much. So what you're supposed to do is use sage when the energy in your home is negative. You're not supposed to use it if your house is a happy home. If you're, Because what sage will do is neutralize the energy in your home. So when you're having a disruption in your home you, or your, you know, your energy is off, the kids are crying or something to that nature, you can light the sage and that will definitely release and cleanse that energy. And while you're burning the sage, crack a window so that the energy can escape and have a place to go, which is outside of your home. Now, if your house is a happy home, then you don't want to burn sage because sage, again, is going to neutralize the energy. And the goal is to keep the momentum of the happy home going. So if your home is happy and peaceful and joyous, then you don't need to burn sage. But the moment that you're seeing that there's things breaking or the energy is off, then you should definitely, definitely burn some sage in your home or any other cleansing agent. Now, with the sage here, you can add some other things to this when you're burning it. You can add rose petals, which will be great for smudging and cleansing for any beauty hexes. It'll help to be happiness, joy, and romance in your relationships. You can add lavender so that when you're cleaning the area, you're also bringing peace to the home. You can add frankincense to this mix. You can mix frankincense up with the sage and that will help bring prosperity and good health to the home. So it's all in what you would like. Now, let me show you the proper way to light your sage. Now you can get a match. I have my torch here and I'm just gonna light the top of my sage like so. Let it burn. And once it it's going to go out on its own. And that's what you want is the smoke coming up like that. Now that your sage is lit, you can go ahead and just feed the sage by fanning your sage. And this will help the fire travel to all the other sages in here and bless and cleanse the area. And this is exactly what I do if I am cleansing my area, which I need to. I will put the sage under my desk. My desk should be cleaned. Your area should be cleaned before you start saging because those dark energies, they'll go and hide under your bed. They'll hide in the pile of clothes. They'll hide in the dirty closet. They don't like clean areas. So if your house is clean and then you sage your home like so, then it will remove that negative energy and all of that energy will run right out of your and home. And if it starts to go out, you can continue to fan it or blow it or you can relight. And honestly, that's enough right here to be able to do your room. whole house, your whole bedroom with just this one light. And as long as you keep fanning the smoke, 
and you'll just be traveling through your home cleansing the air okay just like so Alrighty, my loves and that's just the proper way to use sage and i will see y'all in the next video bye babies